let's get started with this support webinar. Yeah, you know, I, I don't think a lot of people realize, Eric, how important it is that they that they get with a company that's going to be there. You know, after they've got their money, like franchises and business opportunities, you know, they can take your licensing fee real easily, right? But do they do they do they support you after that? What what are they going to do to give you make sure that you're successful? And so. Thanks for putting this one together, Eric. This is a great content for those of you who are looking into getting into our business. Absolutely. So let's get back and we'll start showing our screen again. We just wanted to, Patrick wanted to talk to you just personally, straight on straight right there. So again, we kind of, Patrick, you and I have been kind of massaging this whole thing for the last few days and kind of trying to figure out how can we break this thing. We've done webinars in the past that just talks about support in general. Today we're kind of We've kind of been able to work it through in these three categories here, and I know that the first one, if if, if people are getting into a business opportunity or a franchise, and their support doesn't actually help them get a client, the other two doesn't even matter. Yeah, that's right. No, they have to be uh, tied in with the company in such a way that they're not only getting uh, you know the information that they need to know how to do billing for doctors. Uh, which is what our licensees do primarily, but they also need to know that they, they can actually have uh, marketing help. Uh, what, right. what other business do you know of, Eric, that uh, will actually help people to get clients the way we do with our live demos and all the other tools that we have available for them? So that's important, but then, of course, it's important that they know that they have a network of other people uh, besides ABS even. We're going to show you that you can actually network with other people who come to the live uh, training workshop with you. You got it. Folks, let me remind you this before we get started here is that uh, most of you know where your question box is. It's so if you just look over there in your control panel, webinar, go, go to webinar control panel, there's where you can ask Patrick and me any questions during the webinar. We'll take as many questions as we can throughout the presentation. We'll try to wrap up as many questions as we can at the end of it as much as we can doesn't mean we can get to every single question so uh, but if you like a particular question we get to a particular area and you want to ask us a question feel free to do that and again we'll we'll see what all that we, what we can do Patrick I've asked a question here right up at the top how long is the ABS support now you made this big change about a couple of years ago why don't you talk about what you did what what, what was your mindset behind all of this well, as most companies in this industry, uh, that is, who are providing some sort of business opportunity package or licensing arrangement like we have, they'll support people for a year, sometimes two years if they're really, really, you know, extending it out there. But most of the time, they want a fee after that. Uh, there are other companies, for example, that are in this industry even, that will provide support after the first year for another $1,200 a year. And most people don't think about that, that they may need that support for many, many years to come. And we just decided we extended that at one point about, I don't know, seven or eight years ago to lifetime support. That means as long as you are involved in our business, we're going to support you. And yeah. Eric, there's a very important reason why we do that. As you know, we make money on the actual services that are offered by our licensees to the doctors. And so we have a vested interest. I mean, we're partners with our licensees because we make money when they make money. And they don't pay us, of course. It's not like a royalty or anything. That comes out of our technology partners that we're partnering with to provide all these services. I've had so many people ask me, so you know, how can you support me for a lifetime for the the, the investment fee of twenty four nine ninety? Uh, how how can you keep supporting me for a lifetime? Well, that's the way. I mean, that, and and really, that's the best way, and it's the American way because at that point. We're, we're helping you get what you need as a client and then supporting you from that. Uh, the doctor's obviously getting a benefit out of it. And then ABS is getting their benefit out of it on the back end because we're supporting you. So it just kind of just works itself all together. Yeah, it's, it's a win-win-win situation for everybody. Right. And now a lot of people do ask and say, so I, I kind of get the whole lifetime support thing, but are there going to be any other fees that go along with this? I know that... Uh, there's no franchise fees, there's no support, there, I mean, there's no uh, franchise fees, royalty fees, no percentages, but are there any other additional fees that I may have to try to come up with? We tell people, look, after you've paid the initial licensing fee, which is 24990 that's it. You will never pay another dime to ABS, American Business Systems, 
again, does not need any other fees from you. Not for royalties of any kind, because we're not a franchise, of course. There's no additional user fees. That's a big deal for a lot of companies who, who offer software like this uh, to do medical billing. They'll charge for every additional seat after the first five or something like that. Uh, and that can mount up really fast as you build your business and grow your business. No support fees. Uh, we, we continue to support you forever, like we said. And no software upgrades. Eric, that's a very that's a big place where a lot of people make their money. As you know, you 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 know, before I even met you, I was offering a piece of software that actually had to be updated, and we would right. send out new disks and everything, and everybody had to upgrade and update, and we charged big dollars for that. Right. So there's money in the upgrades, and then there's no service fees of any kind, no training fees. We we do webinars, as we're going to talk about a little later in this one, almost every week for our licensees, and we don't charge anything for those, and have been doing that for years and years and years. And of course, there's no clearinghouse fees. We'll get into that when we talk about the, the clearinghouse, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. So, folks, we wanted to, before we actually started on the marketing, and Darnell, I see your question there, and this will be a great time for us to ask, answer your question, but we wanted to make sure that you knew that support is for a lifetime. We want to make sure that you understood that there are no additional fees with us going forward. Because again, folks, we don't need to get the fees from you. If we can help you get a client, we can get our fees on the back end from our technology partners. That's that's the bridge, that's the partnership that we wanted to hopefully lay out for you as best we can. All right, yeah. so we're going to first of all talk about marketing. Now, Darnell, I think you got a great question here. And your question, uh, Patrick, I'm going to and ask this question to you, and then you and I can kind of discuss this. But right now, you ask the question: How do I know the market isn't oversaturated in my area? It's a fair question, Patrick. You know, I'm not laughing at the question. I'm laughing at the fact that I asked that question myself when my wife and I started doing medical billing. This was back in the late '80s. Uh, my wife started doing the medical billing for one doctor, and then we got some referrals, and the thing began to grow. Well, I was worried at some point that there were other medical billing companies, you know, in our area. We live here in the Dallas Forward area. And I thought, well, there must be a lot of billing companies out there that are going after the doctor's business. But it turns out, Eric, that even our licensees have told us that they just don't run into one another in any given area because, well, it'd be like opening up another uh, Century 21 office, you know. <laughs> There's a new one opening up probably every day in, the, in a metropolitan area like this. They never worry about competition from one another because there's just too much business out there. There's just too many doctors out there. They all need help. They all need help. And Darnell, here's another question. I mean, uh, some of you to think about, and everybody that's on the call and everybody that will listen to us a little bit later, doctors are already doing medical billing. It's not like you're going to give them something brand new. That's that's not what we're doing here. It's because it's not like, uh, oh, we've got a brand new uh, gadget to get them that they've never used before. Doctors are doing billing. They're either doing billing in-house where they've got staff there or they've outsourced it already. Right. So if you take it from that standpoint, you can almost say, oh my goodness, the market's saturated. The doctors are already doing it. Here's the difference. And Patrick, you knew, you know this. I, I shared this with you just a couple of days ago. Darnell, what they're, where you're going to make the biggest impact is because of the way our system works, because it works in real time, you will be able to help close the gap on how much money the doctors are losing. I shared with Patrick just the other day, I was working with a licensee out of, out of Arizona, two of them out of Arizona. They're working with a group of cardiologists, come to find out that they're losing about 64% of their money monthly. Now, Darnell, I bet you're going to be able to find other doctors that are out there that are losing about 64% of their money monthly. It's just out there. So the market is not oversaturated for what we can offer you to for you to offer the doctors. Yeah, and it doesn't really matter how many um, you know of our licensees or even other billing companies there are in an area. And and here's why: because folks, this is kind of a secret in this industry you don't realize how, how few clients you really need to be able to make a terrific income. I'm talking about a six-figure income to be made with a literally a handful of clients. And so it doesn't matter if there's one licensee in this area or a dozen because you don't need but a handful. Right here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, Eric, for example, there's like, I don't know, 20 or 30,000 medical providers. 
Right. So there's plenty of room here for a lot of licensees. Of then there's the fact that our territory, we don't have territories. We, we haven't restricted you to any one area. So it doesn't matter if you're in a small town uh, because most of our licensees eventually have clients all over the United States. And that's because you can run this business virtually from anywhere and doctors know one another in different states and it, and it just grows from referrals. Absolutely. So let us let us take you through just a little bit here on what you're going to get from us and what kind of support mechanisms you're actually going to get from us here at American Business Systems, specifically some ways that we're just going to really be able to help you get that client. Uh, Patrick, I know that, uh, I don't think we've got it on this one, but, but we've invested a lot of, not only time, but a lot of effort in building uh, the, the, the proposals in the background and all the, the marketing things that go along with that. We've got all of that there. So this is just a sample of what we call consultative marketing. Patrick, what is that? How, how can you communicate that to everybody right now? Well, I, you know, if you've never actually heard that term before, it, it's so different from what you think of. People are always scared, Eric, that they're going to have to go out and sell something. Well, if you can sell, uh, you know, snow cones in the Sahara Desert, uh, that would be pretty simple, right? Then you can certainly sell the fact that you can come to a doctor and show him with a professional proposal that we help you prepare, like, like you see here on the screen, that you can save that doctor and increase their revenue thousands of dollars annually. There's nothing to sell. Right. So when we say consultative, it means that you're actually going in and you do a practice analysis. Now we'll show a slide show of that Absolutely. slide in a few minutes. But the point is that, that we've come up with the, the questions that you actually ask that doctor or the office manager in many cases, and, and you're preparing this proposal from their own numbers. Right. So it's not like you're making anything up. You're saying, here's the numbers you gave, and here's what we can do for you. And, uh, well, you'll see when we show you the, the, uh, the revenue report that, in some cases, you can save a doctor or increase their revenue $100,000 a year. That's a no-brainer. Yeah, absolutely. And, folks, that's where you, you'll be able to make a, a huge impact. Now, what Patrick just shared with you is that you're going to take the, the, the numbers from that doctor, and before you get this, this proposal part, you're going to go through a live demo with your doctor. Now, here's the great thing about it. You don't have to do the demo. <laughs> you don't have to learn. And, Patrick, this is, I think, can bring a lot of comfort to people because a lot of people come into in, in, in business with us and they say, I don't know anything about medical billing. I don't know anything about how to do anything. How am I going to be able to sell a doctor? Right. They don't have to sell anything. We will do. This is the this is the first part of where we partner with you and us doing these demos. Yeah, I don't know of any other company that does anything like this, Eric, in any field. That is, once you're a licensee of ABS, you basically can go out and find a doctor. We'll show you how to convince them that it'd be worth their time, you know, a half hour or so, to see a live demo of some of the latest technology that's out there for doctors. They love this kind of thing. And then we do it through, as you can see here in Illustrated, uh, they're on their computer, you're with them there in their office, hopefully. Uh, you can be at home if you want to do it, doesn't matter, because with this technology that we're using here today, this go-to meeting, go-to webinar thing, you can do this type of thing from anywhere. So we, that is our people who've been trained to do these demos, do the actual demo of the system for the doctor, you're just there listening. And hopefully you've got some paperwork ready to fill out when they say, well, how do I get started? <laughs> and Absolutely. Eric, about, about half of all the doctors that go through one of these demos eventually engage with our licensees and become clients. Well, it, it's just amazing how well the demos work because uh, this is where we get to show the, the difference why what what we can offer that doctor through you as an ABS licensee, remember you're an independent medical billing company and we support. So imagine that you've got our 22 years of experience, we know how to do these demonstrations, we know what the doctors are going to be asking, we know the lingo, we know what to, how to, how to go, go through this, and just imagine that you, you're allowing us to help you basically market your business directly to the doctors. I mean we are literally if you think about it, selling your business to the doctor on your behalf.
Yeah, we show them the system, and then we answer all their questions. We'll take the, whatever time they want to ask the questions to us. You're there just listening to the answers that we give, and there's literally nothing to do except write up the deal at the end. Right. That's why so many doctors do engage with our, our licensee. So, guys, again, there's nothing like this that I know of out there, and Eric has actually shown you now uh, one of the screenshots when we do the demos. Yeah, what we're doing here is just kind of kind of step through it, and, and we explain some of these in a lot of different areas. So whether we're showing the front office staff how they're going to be able to use their system in, in inside the doctor's office, how the doctor's actually going to use the system as well, uh, we we kind of talk about with how they're going to how we will actually end up helping them do uh, increase their revenues. Sometimes we'll show them these type of reports, and you can see how those reports will reflect on different types of um, uh, just ways for the doctors who've never been able to keep up with their money this quickly because again everything's staying internal as we kind of go through this and as you can see here this is where really where the best part of it comes into play and so folks if you if you can grasp a hold of this as I kind of show this to you you're going to see there, you can manually input the patient's demographics in here. So you see everything that's in there, all of these yellow fields, these things are required. However, these things not only are required, they have to be exactly the same as the insurance company. Because when you go process that claim, this is where the doctors lose about 64% of their money on a monthly basis. Because what they have in their current, what's called a practice management system, and whoever does the billing, if it doesn't match this over with the, the, uh, the insurance payers, they're not going to get paid. However, we can show them internally how that can happen through here. We can select the, the, the payer of the patient, put a little bit of their information in here, and by clicking this button down here where it says Submit Transaction, we can pull in the entire patient demographics directly from the insurance company. Didn't have to type in the first name, the last name, any of that information. And folks, whenever a doctor sees that, they know that you have something different that they've never seen before. Plus, yeah, because, it works. Oh, go ahead. Well, I was just going to interject, uh, Eric, that the important part of that is that we're checking the eligibility of that patient. Remember, doctors spend a lot of time with patients that they're not going to get paid on from the insurance company. Why? Because they don't have this system. They don't know how to check that eligibility, especially in real time as we do. This is one of the advantages of having a cloud-based uh, software system, not one that is installed and resides on your computer. In the cloud, we can go and grab that information over the Internet and bring it right into our system, like Eric said. Flawless. Yeah, folks, if you see this, this, this screenshot that we're looking at, you're seeing right now, without, if you've never been in billing before, I bet you could tell me which patients that the eligibility has been verified, and it's active. It doesn't, I mean, it's clear. If it's green, it's good to go. It's cash OA. It's That's what the doctor wants to see. However, if you see this, and, and a doctor is, is seeing this, they're, they can see about 50% of their patients that they may be seeing today, they're not going to get paid on. Why? It's because the eligibility of that insurance is either invalid or it's no longer active. Folks, we can help that doctor know that before they even see their patients now. That's the difference here. That's why, going back to Darius's question, uh, how do I know my market's not saturated? We know the doctors don't have this in their, in their office. That's how. Right, uh, and other, other companies don't have this technology. So the important thing to remember here, folks, is that this is all available to the doctor as well. Talk about visibility, Eric. The doctors right. love the fact that they can see in real time the status of their claims. Absolutely. Then, Patrick, you were just mentioning a while ago about the practice analysis. You want to kind of step through this because this is just a few of the pages that, that uh, a licensee would might go through. Yeah, so uh, again, over the last 22 years, folks, we've actually honed down the exact questions you need to be asking to a doctor to find out whether or not you can be of service to them, whether or not you can actually increase their revenue. So by getting these few questions answered, and we show you how to go through this in our training class, we go through every question, show you the answers that you might get and what you should expect and how to ask the question, 
once you've got this data and you come back and prepare that proposal that we showed you earlier, it's a done deal. It's a done deal because you've got the information that they provided to you. Absolutely. Uh, I'm looking over the questions here. I'm going to skip all the way down to one of these because, Sean, you've got a great question here. Uh, and, folks, there's some other questions that are above Sean's, but I want to take care of this question here because it was something that was seen on the other screen. Why is ethnicity a required field? Uh, that is a requirement from the Center of Medicare and Medicaid Services. That has nothing to do with us. It has all to do with Medicare. So if you have any questions particularly about that or want to know why, you guess you can take that up with the, uh, the government because that's a required field or, or one of the required areas there. That uh, need, so I just want to hopefully get that off of your mind there that we're, that's a, that's a Medicare issue. So we see here real quickly that we're dealing with the practice analysis, and once Patrick someone fills that out, this they take that information and then they put it in this report. Talk to us about this report. Well, what report? Oh, oh sorry, you're not seeing that. Sorry, there you go. How about that? <laughs> Oh, that report, yes. That report. Well, this is what we call the practice revenue report, and basically it's a spreadsheet that we've already got some calculations built into that you plug in the numbers that you get from the office from that practice analysis we just showed you. And once you plug those numbers in, the numbers and the totals at the bottom show up. So look at this particular example. We're increasing this doctor's revenue by 58%. And on an annual basis, that's $122,000 a year. Now. This is not typical. We're just showing you that it can be this much. This is from a real example that we have from one of our licensees. But on an average, it's still thousands of dollars. If it was half that, Eric, wouldn't you still be interested if you were a doctor? So the bottom line for a doctor is they look at that bottom line and they go, oh, you think you can increase my revenue by 100000 or 50000 or 25000 or whatever it is? Okay, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a try. That's all there is to it. And once they're in this system and using it, folks, they never, ever go back to trying to do it themselves because we're going to show you how locked in these doctors really are. Somebody asked a question here about the, uh, the contracts, uh, you know, how, 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 how the contracts are made and how long are they and so forth. Uh, I think that was from uh, Darius. Darius, we do have pre-made contracts that you can use for your business with doctors. And they, they, they say that they're for a year, okay? But there is also an out for the doctor because, look, if you're not doing a good job, you don't want to lock him into anything, right? You want him to stay because he wants to stay. So if you're showing the results that we say that you can show to a doctor, they'll stay with you forever. All right. I'm going to answer a few more of these questions, Patrick, before because we're just about wrapping up this part of the medical, I mean, the, the marketing side. And some of these have to do with the, uh, marketing, so I didn't want to leave those out. So Darius, I think we already answered your question. Maybe uh, do you know how many people are in each state? You can get with your ABS coach that you're working with. We can maybe find out who ABS people might be in your state. Uh, but again, it doesn't matter how many are actually in your state because you could be doing billing in a completely different state. Uh, I know people that live here in Texas and their doctors are in Georgia. So it just doesn't matter. We've got another licensee who has, uh, he lives in Arizona, and his clients are in North Carolina. So it just really doesn't matter that too much. But if you, if it really matters to you, check with your uh, business coach that you're working with. Brian, uh, you asked this question, is this only for physicians uh, who are on their own or are not affiliated with large entities? Uh, you can do this with an individual doctor or with an entire group of doctors. Uh, it's it can be done that way, uh, so I think that's good for now. So let's move on, Patrick, and we'll maybe pick up some of these other questions here as we get going here. Now we're going to start to talk about billing. So Patrick, I, you've heard this. You've heard this. I'm going to repeat what licensees say. Patrick, I got a doctor. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, in fact, uh, we tell people as they come through our training workshop here in Dallas that uh, if we had a contract ready, signed by a doctor, ready for you to take it, how many of you would actually take it and start you know, working with that doctor? Everybody raises their hand, and at that point, they know nothing. <laughs> you know, it's the first day. So the point is that you do need to know something about doing medical billing, and we can train you in that week-long workshop here in Dallas everything you need to know to get started. Now, doesn't mean it's everything you'll ever need to know about 
the business because there's always new things that you need to learn. That's why we do ongoing training workshops and webinars for our licensees on a regular basis. But you'll know enough to go out and get your first client. Uh, for example, we start on that very first day, Eric. There you are. There's Eric. In fact, he's there twice. <laughs> yep, there twice. <laughs> yep, going and uh, so we're we're this is where we're we're actually doing hands-on training, uh, folks. You're going to have time to practice what it means to actually do medical billing right there in the in the training class. So we're going to start you off. So folks, if you have a little bit of nervousness about the marketing side, but we've kind of helped bridge that gap for you. But now you say, I, I don't know how I need to be whenever I actually start doing the billing. We're going to give you hands-on training. Patrick, how long ago did we, because we, there was one part in, in our training, we didn't do hands-on training. What, no, we didn't, we didn't bring in the laptops. That was about six years ago that we started bringing them in. So we provide the laptops. You don't have to bring one with you. We put those right in front of you and get your hands on. And by the end of the first day, folks, you have filed medical claims. Now, they're not right. real or fake. But you're, you're actually using the system through an internet connection there in the hotel as if it's live. That shows you it's not brain surgery. No, oh, it's not. So what we're going to do, you can see in, in this kind of little fuzzy, we, we did the best we could to find some screenshots of some things. But you can see to the left, you can see that there's a new patient intake form. So we're going we're gonna to show you what a lot of doctors go through. That, you know, that you're going to get something from a patient then you have to physically type that in, but we're also going to show you that's how the doctors do it. Then the next we show you how we can show the doctors that they don't have to do that anymore and then get that information directly from the insurance company. Now on the right hand side, you'll see that's what's called a super bill. That's when you start to actually process a bill or a claim and process it through there. And we're going to show you how to what all these little numbers are, what you need to do with those numbers, how to put it in there. Our, our trainer named Cynthia Anderson, she's done a great job of having scenarios and, and exercises for you to go through during the training class so that you have hands-on training of knowing how to actually do the billing. So yeah, Eric, I would guess to say that there's at least a hundred handouts like these that we give out during that week of training. So you'll actually get your hands on all the forms uh, that you'll ever need to run the business. Absolutely, absolutely. So what we're going to do right now, you're going to see here that we're going to show you how to get into iClaim. And what you're going to see here, you see this piece of paper. Now, Patrick, this is something that I think Linda used to have to fill out, correct? Yeah, this is the old, uh, what we refer to it as the 1500 form. That's just a government number that's on the form. But basically, that one form, folks, that shows you how simple medical billing is. If you can fill out this one piece of paper, you can file a medical claim. It's information about the patient, the insurance company, uh, the procedure and, and diagnostic codes that the doctor gives to you. You just fill in the blanks, basically. Of course, you're not yeah. doing this on paper. In our system, you're doing it all electronically, but doing the same same data is actually put in electronically now and sent right over the internet. Yep, so we're going to tell you, click there to create a claim. You're going to put all this in, and instead of looking like that on that piece of paper, it's going to come out on a side where it's going to be coming out electronically. But that's just one way <laughs> that you do the billing. Because if you lock in and just think about billing alone, you miss out on the whole revenue cycle management. So Patrick, well, I think what we're going to do right now for the next you know, five or so minutes, kind of talk about the other revenue streams what, that has to come and do with billing. So. Yeah. So, so Eric, let me, let me share, first of all, why we came up with these things. We came up with them because, in our experience, while we were out there, we ran across various challenges that the doctor was facing that didn't have to do with the medical billing. Filing insurance claims with uh, insurance companies and Medicare had nothing to do with the uh, patient's receivables, for example. But we had this complaint and these questions from doctors, look, I got this problem I can't collect from my patients. Can you help me with that problem? So we came up with Quick Collect that helps with that. The same thing with all of these folks. Every one of our ancillary services that you see here were added when we saw a challenge that was in the doctor's office. And they all have to do with their revenue. So when we teach you that we're going to make you uh, and, and certify you as a 
medical revenue manager, it's because you're going to be managing the entire revenue cycle inside that doctor's office, which includes all these things. So a lot of people ask, well, I don't know coding, Patrick. Uh, how am I going to do billing if I don't know coding? And you don't have to be a coder, folks, to be involved in this business because, first of all, we have CodeWrite. CodeWrite is a service that we actually provide to you. That there's over 100 certified medical coders that can provide services to you and to your doctors for a fee that you pass on to the doctors. So as it says right here, you now can tell the doctor when they say, do you do coding? Yes. Yes, you do. See, without this service, you wouldn't be able to say that unless you were willing to go to coding school for two or three years. But you right. don't have to do that now. And then secondly, of course, all of that is built into our system. All the codes that you've heard about in medical billing, diagnostic and procedure codes, they're all built into our system. So you don't have to know what they are. Besides, the doctor is the one that provides those codes to you for each one of the claims. If they don't know or are not sure for a particular claim, we can help you through code right. Then, folks, we have another service that is linked to uh, code right, and that's called Audit Guard. And, folks, everybody knows that every doctor that we all go to, I mean, it's probably less than a half a percent of doctors that don't see Medicare patients. And because doctors are seeing uh, patients, Medicare patients, they're under a huge microscope to make sure that they're doing everything exactly correct. I'll, I'll get a little technical here. Some doctors, when they do their coding, they, they code less than what they should be because they don't want to get slapped on the hand because uh, Medicare is watching what they're doing. Neither do they want to overcode where they're trying to get too much money from Medicare and then they get fined. So folks, Audit Guard here is to help you get past the gatekeepers we're kind of saying here because you, we could send you, you, we could probably send you out today and to any doctor and say that you're here and you want to make sure that the doctor is not under a certain audit, like a Medicare audit. And if they are, we've got a solution for them, Audit Guard. Yeah, and along with this, we also have another service that we just introduced recently uh, referred to as HIPAA Guard. Now, here's right. why that's important, uh, because we got a question here from Susie, for example. She's saying, please review the confidentiality of the accounts to reflect the laws. That's what she's talking about, the HIPAA laws. Everybody has signed one of those forms at the doctor that says, uh, I agree that you're not going to share my information outside this office and so forth. And, folks, we show you how to be compliant with that so that you and the doctor don't get into any problems. Believe me, our system is HIPAA compliant, which means everything is protected uh, behind the scenes, all of it's uh, encrypted so that nobody can get to the patient data. Right. At least they haven't for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Then we have Quick Collect, and, it, and it, we already know that it's hard enough for doctors to collect you know, their money, sometimes even at the front front desk. So uh, for, for doctors that have a high amount of money they need to try to collect from their patients, this this is a service in which you, you can actually be able to use, again, and this all has to do with billing, folks. So this is all the support mechanisms that we're talking about, about billing. Now, hopefully, not only can you see that it's the support that we're giving you for your billing, but hopefully you can start to see these are some of the things I might lead in with a doctor or an office staff person to maybe even get a dialogue going on with a doctor. And these yeah. are the things that can certainly, certainly help you out. Good, good point, Eric. In other words, we sometimes refer to these as uh, door openers because they do get you in. Maybe the doctor and the office staff thinks everything is okay with their billing, but they yeah. certainly are probably having a problem there with their patients, and Quick Collect can get in the door to talk about those. Patrick, it's been a long time, but uh, when was the last time we even heard whether how Obamacare is affecting medical billing or the Affordable Care Act? Uh, it's been some time that we've, we've had that question come up, but we do know that because of these, 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 these things that have come in place, it's making people's deductibles go way up, and not everybody can pay all those at one time. Yes, and Choice Pay is another service that we offer, you offer, through you to the doctors that allows the patients to pay as they are able to. 
In other words, we can set up automated payments that take the money automatically out of their credit card or their checking account. Now, this is all done online, by the way, through our patient portal that's connected with our electronic health record system. So uh, another great service that you can make money on and help the doctor with uh, because the easier it is for the patients to pay, the more money you'll collect from those patients. And talking about HIPAA, you want to talk about this one right here, Patrick, about iDocs now and how expensive it is for doctors to keep all that paper and folders and everything in their offices? Yeah, iDocs now, we came up with this one because doctors, uh, you know, I have all these files that you see behind the uh, counter there in their offices that they're having to keep, and they have to access those files sometimes manually, of course, to go find what they need. We can put that on online for the doctor so that it's all available 24-7 from any computer in the world that's connected to the Internet. So they literally can have access to their documents, HIPAA compliant again, uh, so that they can provide all the information they need for anybody that they want to share that information with uh, from anywhere. We use this in our own office, Eric, and as, as people are surprised when they come here, they don't see any file cabinets anywhere in our entire That's office. Awesome. We don't have any paper because it's all scanned right. in directly into iDocs now, and we access all of our documents from there. Another right. great door opener, by the way, and this can be offered to doctors' uh, offices and other businesses as well. Anybody that deals with a lot of paper, we can take that burden off their hands and put it on uh, online for them, so all searchable. Yeah. Now, before we jump into the last little section here, and we're almost getting uh, to the point where we need to keep moving on, uh, I'm going to ask you this question from Daniel. Daniel's asking, do we have any electronics versions of all of our forms? Well, guess what, Patrick just shared with you. All of our forms are either on iDocs now or they're on our licensing uh, support site. So absolutely all of these forms are going to be in somewhat of a uh, uh, electronic form that you'll be able to get. Download them yourself or use them however you want, need to be able to use them. So um, there's a lot of questions here. So maybe we'll just get through this next section, se section Patrick, and we'll kind of go back through some of these. I think this is one of the most exciting parts of our support and probably one of the least that we've ever talked about in the past, and that is the ABS network in general. Yeah, we tell people that we are the nation's largest network of independent medical revenue managers. Well, what does that mean? It means that you become a part of something that's much larger than you working out of your spare bedroom in your underwear. <laughs> I mean, or in your pajamas. <laughs> because folks, that's what people are, they, they don't realize they need to be positioned. You need to be positioned correctly in your marketplace as somebody that's running a large company. Well, becoming a part of our nationwide network, you are instantly uh, placed in a position where you are a part of something that's big. And so what does it mean to be powered by ABS, Eric? Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, folks, think about it. Uh, you're plugging into American Business Systems, as you can see here, with all these different services that we've just kind of gone over. You, we have all of your marketing materials. We we are the ones that are supporting you. We are doing the live demonstrations where we're actively talking with your doctors with you and for you in order for you to get that client. You, you're not going to... If you look at to, this, to the left, you see the marketing, billing, and, and, and ABS network. Folks, if you think about it, if you had to go all do all this on your own, you would have to go do all of your marketing and all of your uh, the, the suppliers that you might need to do and everything else like that. Somebody's going to teach you how to do billing. Somebody's going to do – when you get plugged in, though, man, you become part of American Business Systems. And, Patrick, here's where – they become certified as a medical revenue manager. A, a medical revenue manager. So, explain the the organization here, Merma, and uh, how that is is for our licensees. Well, the Medical Revenue Management Association of America uh, is formed to help people like yourself become certified. Because when the doctor is talking to you, you can actually say that I've been certified as a medical biller. Why? Because we've certified you. At the end of the week, you get this certificate to walk away with. Now, that doesn't mean that that's the end of your learning. We have ongoing training and ongoing resources on our website that we'll show you here in a moment that's just far beyond that. Plus, you become a part of the nation's largest network of medical billing companies that's in the entire United States. So, all of a sudden, you become much larger. You can tell doctors that we process thousands of claims for hundreds of doctors from coast to coast, 
every single day. We've collected millions of dollars for doctors that they wouldn't have collected otherwise. Right. Now, notice I've said that as a part of the network, we, the corporate we. So you become a part of our our we. <laughs> And, and interesting, kind of going way back up over, I think, to Darius's question. I think that was Darius or Darnell uh, asked, you know, what, what people are in my neighborhood or in my state. Here's what we like to tell you. Licensees do not become your competition. They truly do become part of your support. Uh, these people that you're seeing here, every one of them have helped out other licensees, not, a, not just only across the nation, but some of them right in their own neighborhoods. Folks, these people here, they already have all the doctors that probably they want to get. They're growing their business still, but for you to come in there, you're not going to become a threat to them because they know the market is too large for them to get everybody, and plus they've got doctors in other states. But these folks can be truly your part of your, your network. So you, if you think about it, you've gone from just – ABS helping you with your marketing, ABS helping you with your billing, and now to a nationwide group of support groups. Yeah, and we, we put you in contact with these people because if you need some hand-holding at some point, uh, you need some tutoring, some mentoring, we've got people that can do that. Why? Right. Because we want you to be successful. We want you to grow your business and become as big as you wish to become. <laughs> and to do that, we've got to have people that can help you and what better people but other people who are running the same business that you're running? So you're not in competition with these folks. In fact, you are supporting one another. Absolutely. Now, Patrick, here's not only do we have other ABS licensees, but you personally have networked with some doctors, and I'm going to bring this one up right here, Vicki Rackner, Dr. Beth Rackner. Why don't you explain how you met her and, and how she's now part of this the whole network of support for American business systems? Well, Dr. Rector actually ran her own private practice for many, many years as a general surgeon. Uh, she had thousands and thousands of patients, and she turned over her billing to an outside resource like yourself. So she knows the advantages and the, the reasons why doctors should do that. So we've engaged with her because she's a famous author. As you can see, the many books she's written, she's been interviewed on uh, USA Today and CNN and many, many other publications you see there on the screen. So we've partnered with her. In fact, Eric, you showed a copy of our book. This is it right here. I'm holding it up on the video. As you can see, this is the new thriving medical practice. Uh, she and I wrote this together because we wanted you to have a tool to hand to a doctor. This is a great business card that you can hand to a doctor that gives them the information they need uh, to know why they need to outsource their billing to you. So here's another way we support you is partnering you with a medical doctor. It doesn't get any better than that. Now, Patrick, I think this was our last class that we just had here, and you yeah. mentioned earlier on in the webinar about uh, how once you come to the class, these are the people that you start networking with right off the bat. Yeah, we tell people right here during this week, folks, you can bond with other people. And by the end of the week, really, you are good friends with a lot of these people because you've spent you know, seven hours in the classroom. You're staying at the same hotel. You can go out to dinner to one another. You can sit in the lobby and have uh, free beer and wine that the hotel provides. It's a great way to bond with other people who are starting right where you're starting. And so this can be your support group going forward. Eric, we still have groups like this that are still meeting on conference calls and things like that a year or so after the after they've come through the training. Yeah, you just told me right before we started this, the webinar, that you actually still show up on some of those conference calls that some of these training classes are still happening. Yeah, they'll invite me to uh, just show up on those calls, and I, I pop in there and just uh, you know answer questions and uh, encourage people in whatever ways that we can. So it's, uh, it's great. I love those calls. And then you have the licensee support site. So, Patrick, I'm going to let you kind of talk a little bit about this because I'm going to I think we've got a little bit of time here. I'm going to go out to it live, but why don't you explain what the licensee support is all about? So, so we came up with this site uh, several years back, and uh, folks, we actually had a different version of it. This is the latest version of it. It's uh, been updated uh, several times over the years, but we have hundreds of hours of training materials on this site. This is a private site that's just for our licensees. You'll have to log in with a password and ID, which is Eric. He's doing that right now behind the scenes. I can see him typing there. And once you're in, you get access to all sorts of wonderful things. So, Eric, you want to kind of show them some of the stuff behind the scenes? This is just a, a behind-the-scenes glimpse into what you will have as an ABS licensee. 
There we go. I think we are live. Yep, there we are live. We're right here, and you can see I'm just kind of hovering over everything as we kind of go through this. But these are some things that just got put up. I mean, here is uh, August the 22nd, this new Building and Coding Advantage magazine special offer. Here's some things. 40% discount for our licensees. Yeah, so this is our, uh, think of it as a blog, the news page is where you want to check every time you log in. If you scroll down there, Eric, you'll see, folks, that there are several things that have been posted this month and the previous month. Uh, it goes down uh, quite a ways there. And then over on the right-hand side up at the top there, you'll see, folks, that we've archived everything we've posted on this since we started this particular version of the site back in uh, 2014, I think it goes back to. So the point is, folks, there's tons of material on this that you'll have access to in addition to what you get when you come to the live training because there's lots of stuff to learn, and we, we've recorded and archived every session that's in our live training right here on this site for your review. Maybe a partner or spouse wants to go through that material. It's all right there. You'll see all of the tons of videos that we've got posted on there. And all the forms you need. We've, we've passed all of these forms through our attorneys and already have all the forms that you're going to need to run your whole business. We've developed all that. I talked to somebody today, Eric, um, Michael and Molly. Uh, they're interested in getting our business coming next month. And they right. said, Patrick, we've never seen anything like this in our lives. This is great that you have all this developed. We could spend $25,000 developing all this ourselves, but why reinvent the wheel? <laughs> uh, of course. So, so, folks, here we are. We're back over here, and uh, we just want to kind of give you a little sneak preview of what the licensee support site actually looks like. So, again, we'll be happy to show this to you in a live demo for yourselves or whatever you, you like to do. But, Patrick, as we start, start wrapping up here, we're, we're still talking about the ABS network. That It goes so far beyond of just, again, the people and everything else. I want to say something about your role in this. I mean, there's not many... CEOs who take such a desired role in making sure that people get what they need and they're getting their business. These webinars that I'm showing you, I'm going to kind of flip through a couple of these. These are ones that you actually do outside of the Wednesday webinars. Yes, these are for licensees, which we usually do on Fridays, by the way, folks. Uh, and they're all recorded, as you can see. These are the actual recordings he's showing you right here. And you'll see a lot of these are interviews that I've done with other licensees. Uh, when somebody gets a new client, I call them up and get them on an interview like this, and we let them explain exactly what it took to get that doctor, what type of doctor it is, what kind of volume they have. You get to hear all kinds of great inside information from other licensees all over the country. So those alone are worth it. As you can see, every one of them you see there that have a couple of pictures on their people, those are interviews that I've done and recorded. So yeah. great motivation for anybody that's in a business, trying to build a business. You need to be motivated. Well, the thing that motivates most people is the success that other people have seen in, in the business. Folks, let me just say this before we go to the last part. Not only are you getting everything that we've talked about already, but you know, as, uh, as long as uh, Patrick is around and he's up on his uh, two feet, he is part of your support. So it's just amazing that you've got uh, the kind of dedication from the, uh, the entire APS family which it goes past corporate. It goes, as you can see here, to literally hundreds of other people that are actually in the business with you that are actually going to be your support. So it's, it's pretty incredible that now hopefully we've been, we've been able to just kind of throw this, this, paint this picture for you as best we could in these three different areas again. So folks, again, let me just say this as we kind of get ready to take on a few more questions. Patrick, you may start looking over some of those questions there. But folks, if you go do this by yourself, again, let me reiterate, you're going to have to go start all by yourself in all of your own marketing. Then you're going to have to learn how to do billing. Some of you already know how to do billing. We understand that. But you still have to go back and do all your own marketing. Then, outside of that, then you're going to have to go develop your own network. We have all three of these parts of our support, marketing, marketing billing, and the network all together ready for you. That's what makes you have a winning support team here with American Business Systems. All right, let's do this, Patrick. Let's talk about the money back guarantee, and then we'll kind of go back to that screen, and then we'll start taking some questions here. But I know that uh, we're about five minutes till. Some people might need to get off right away. So go ahead and let's take this part, and then we'll see how many questions we can get uh, taken care of here. Well, a few years back, I came up with this, Eric, and my staff thought I was uh, completely 
cuckoo uh, because uh, they, nobody nobody does this in this industry, folks. Nobody lets you come through their entire week-long workshop, get all the handouts, all the proprietary information that we give out during that week, and then at the end of the week, you don't like it, you get all your money back. That's what this says. It's just it's there's no weasel words in here. This is pretty straightforward, right? For any reason, if you don't think this business is right for you, just simply ask one of us and we'll arrange to receive a full refund. Now, the reason we do that, folks, is because, first of all, it's only happened a handful of times in our whole 22-year history. But the other reason is because I want you to feel comfortable doing business with us. I know it's scary over the Internet, getting involved in a business. You don't know anything about us. That's why we ask you to come down and visit if you want to. Uh, you can talk to all the references you want to. But the, the real the real key is to sit through that training and see what we really have. Think right. of that as part of your due diligence if you want to. Because you'll, you'll only be out the money that you spent to get down here to Texas and the hotel bill, which is uh, it's going to run you you know $100 a night or something like that. It's not a lot of money to invest to find out if this is real. And if it is, you'll do as most people do, stay with us and become very successful in this business. There you go.